So to start with spin steals, spin steals are something I kind of learned on my own. I'm pretty sure most people do it, but have different names. Basically, what you do is you learn where people hold the disc relative to your arm length so that when you grab people, you can whip your arms backwards and grab it without having to really look. Again, this is one of those things you really just end up learning over time, but uh, I found it very useful. Leeching by turning and boosting. It, it's basically when enemies pull off of you, um, they normally will pull left or right out of your reach by a little. So if you turn around and watch them pull off, you can see which direction to boost to grab them. So you're just going to turn your head, use your thruster in the direction they pulled, and you can normally uh, catch them on their leech. So this is really helpful to catch them. This is um, one of the more important things in this video. It's waiting to leech. Um, it's very obvious, it'll sound really simple, but it's incredibly helpful and almost no one does it. So, when you see an enemy chain downfield and you want to leech them, position yourself on a block in front of them and aim for their toes. Then when they fly by, just grab one of their toes. Um, if you look at the video, I wait on bow tie, their chain just flies right by, I grab one of their toes. Easy leech, they can't push you off, leaves you in a great spot to pull off, chain, um, stun out their stacks if you need. It's very important. So this one is it's a little hard to get used to because if you give it the wrong timing you can slap someone and you'll go nowhere but when an enemy is pushing off of you like they're they're facing you you're in like you're going downfield so they're trying to like slap off you backwards um if you delay your grab by a small amount after theirs you can grab onto them after they push off of you this is a little like backwards re-grabbing if you time it wrong you can cancel each other out and just end up losing speed um but the gist of it is they're going to come towards you and try and slap backwards. So you're going to put your arm behind them and then grab right after they slap off you. And then you can basically chain with them. Uh, I'm pretty sure Sentry Blitz showed this to me back in 2019. So thank you, Sentry, if you're watching. Probably not, but hand position during regrabs. Very simple. Hold your hand close to your chest when you're chaining. Creates less distance between poles and therefore faster chains. Something to get used to, but I guarantee you every high level player does it. So that's just a little thing, that easy tip, work on it. If someone is juking, just mirror them until they mess up. If you can mirror someone and gradually get closer to them, you'll, you'll, you can just take the disc out of their hands. Um, this is also helpful to waste their time when they're juking. If you feel like you can't actually like grab onto someone when they're trying to juke you, if you just mirror them from a good distance, they'll never be able to move forward. Um, and normally if they try to, they'll juke right into you. So this works really well. Put yourself at good angles for shots. The more goal you can see equals the more goal the goalie has to cover. Zero angle means the goalie only has to watch the backboard. While if you're right in front of the goal, it could go anywhere. So put yourself at a good angle, gives you a better chance for shots. 90% of people in public matches can't aim, so put your hands in a random spot, then when they wind up, put them in the middle. Again, if you're really bad at goalie, this is what I would do if you can't read, but this, I think personally, from my own experience, gives me the best chance of saving shots in pubs. Um, but, you know, if you're a good goalie, this doesn't really matter. An example of this right here on screen is Taiga, he's in goal. I throw a backboard, this man just flies away. So, it works really well. If you're in mid and see a goalie to the left, that means they're gonna throw it to the right. This is happens both ways. If there's a person on the right, then they're probably gonna throw it on the left. And just a little thing to keep in your mind when you're trying to play midfield and watch clears. If you can see like a big group of people clumped on the right side of the field, it's probably gonna to go to the opposite side. Point your hand thrusters and use your head thruster in the same direction when going up and down. This includes when you're using the disc if you're trying to juke people. Um, if you wanna go up faster when you're trying to jump people or if you wanna duck faster when you're like, or further down when you're ducking someone, just point your hand thrusters down. Um, or if you're trying to beat someone to the disc on the floor or something like that, if you use your hand thrusters and your face thruster, you'll, you'll go down much faster, or your back thruster, I guess. Um, but just look down, use your hand, hand thrusters, and you'll go down much faster. Learning how to count to four. If you don't count four people on the field, probably watch your shot. There's probably someone hiding on a block. Be careful when you're moving downfield. If you can count four enemies, two behind you, two in front of you, and the goal is open, I guess feel free to take a shot. Use your good judgment there. But... If you can't count all four enemies, then I would probably avoid shooting.
and for the love of god if you intercept a clear don't throw it straight back where you caught it from if you catch a clear from somewhere and you throw it right back there chances are it's going to go back to the person that cleared it so catch a clear throw it to the opposite side you cut the clear from if you're in right tunnel throw it through mid if you're in left tunnel throw it to right tunnel somewhere besides throwing it straight back through the tunnel which is just a big funnel back to the other players right so something a lot of people do in pubs is when they hear someone's on them and they're trying to get to the disc they'll just grab it and then whip it behind their back because they think there's someone on them if you can just juke backwards for a second and then turn around and then clear it chances are they won't expect you to actually juke after grabbing it they'll just think you're gonna whip it because that's what most people do so just grab the disc juke to the left right back forward wherever is more convenient then look and throw it after that well, I wouldn't say much less risk, but it'll probably work out better for your team in the long run. If you get possession on defense, the goalie is almost always in goal. Just go to him. So if your team gets a pick and you're playing bubble defense, turn around and just go to the goalie if you're looking to chain with someone. Instead of trying to like walk around the field and trying to go anywhere trying to get to your teammates that are already moving downfield just turn around the goalie is always going to be behind you and you can just chain with him and finally just because you can't self goal anymore doesn't mean you should spin through the goal like a ballerina most people i've seen in pubs have been taking advantage of the fact that they can throw the disc through the goal for some reason because they think it's fun i guess i had this kid in my pub try and clear it through the goal we threw it right into shield, the other team got possession, we lost the round. There's no point. I know it feels quirky and fun, but that's just my take on it. So those were just my takes. So I wanted to make a leeching tips video and I couldn't really get enough information. So I threw some more tips in there that I thought people would like to hear. Um, check out my Twitch, I guess. That's all I'm going to say about that, and thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.